Hi everyone, I'm back with Capricorn's reading for October 2023. This is a tarot reading for you Capricorn for this month. Um, so I don't take reversals in my reading. I don't put the cards in a certain pattern like Celtic Cross or anything like that. I do not take reversals when the card jumps out. I usually take the jumpers and if it's face up, uh, I'll show you the card because it has a stronger meaning for you. Uh, again, this reading is for the sign of Capricorn for the month of October 2023. So excited, happy Halloween and happy festive season beginning. And also um, happy fall to all of you, okay? So let's see what's going on with Capricorn for the month of October. One. I'm going to shuffle it five times. We ask ancestors, guides, angels, what are the messages for the sign of Capricorn for the month of October? Okay. Four. And five. Let's see what's happening for you for October, Capricorn. Let's see what's happening for the sign of Capricorn for the month of October. Let's bring your little paper here and look at your little paper here. So we know that this reading is for the sign of Capricorn for the month of October. What's happening for Capricorn for the month of October, please? Show me the messages that Capricorn needs to see for the month of October, please. Okay. Let's see what's going on with Cappy for the month of October. Ooh, we got one card landed on the side there. Let's see what that is. Woohoo! Death. The end of a situation, the end of something in order for a rebirth. The ending of something in order to receive a rebirth. Okay, let's see what else is here. You could be dealing with the sign of Scorpio because Scorpio owns the death card. An ending to a situation, an ending to a thing, an ending of doing something, an ending to a struggle maybe. Let's see what's going on with the sign of Capricorn for the month of October. What's going on with the sign of Capricorn for the month of October? Ace of Cups. Okay, there is an ending of a love maybe? There's a situation here. Maybe an ending needed it to happen in order for love to come in. Okay, Capricorn. So some form of an ending. Some situation that ended. Maybe a love situation that ended. Let's see what's going on here with Capricorn. What else is going on for the sign of Capricorn for the month of October? Show me the cards I need to see for the sign of Capricorn. Show Capricorn what they need to see in regards to their energy in October, please. Ooh, we got three cards. Let's see what they are. We got completion and ending of some kind, okay? There was a completion. There was an ending here of a love situation that you saw. That could have went far, an end, a death, a rebirth. Something needed to end in order to be reborn. There was a completion. We got the Prince of Swords here. There was something that you really wanted to move forward with. There was something that you really wanted to take it further, but it didn't happen that way, okay? We got information or communication here in regards to the, you know, Princess of Swords come in with information, communication, fast moving Communication in regards to the Two of Cups, the lovers. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Let's get more cards for Capricorn because we don't have the full story yet. What's happening for Capricorn this month? What's happening for Capricorn this month? Show me the cards we need to see for the sign of Capricorn this month. What's going on with Capricorn this month? Ooh, we got a lot of cards. We got you in your own reading, Capricorn. You came up. Okay, in your own reading. So this is could have been something that you felt like there was a never-ending cycle where the cycle was not clear, where it was something that was um, you were unsure, although you felt stuck in it somehow. Um, maybe some cycle where you felt like things weren't working out. You felt like the situation wasn't, you know, balanced. It wasn't good. 
maybe some addiction, obsession, something going on here in, of that sort. Let's see what else we got here. We got two more cards. We got the three of cups. There could have been a third party, a third party situation, or someone who wasn't being clear with you and kept you in a third party or something like that, but it has ended. There has been a completion. There has been a tower moment. It is done away with. This, this partnership was not stable. It was There was instability here, okay? There was some instability here. We got judgment. Judgment happened, okay, in regards to this situation. Maybe someone kept you in a third party. Maybe someone wasn't clear. Maybe you felt like the situation was never going to change. And so, you know, the tower needed to happen, okay? So I do see a lot of focus on a past situation that has already happened is what I'm getting here, okay? And there is a reaper. Maybe you doing things differently. Maybe you moving forward with yourself, okay? And there is judgment. Universe taking and working its its way through. Whenever you see the tower, judgment, the death card, that's universe coming in and saying the end of whatever is no longer good. It could be the end of stagnancy in your relationships or in your love department. There's a completion of some kind here. There was something that you thought was going to work itself out, but they kept you in a third party. They weren't very clear or they weren't very honest, okay? But you're getting information or you got information about this. Or that person was cutthroat or someone was cutthroat with you. What's going on with the sign of Capricorn for October? What's going on with the sign of Capricorn? And if you're in a relationship now, you might be going through some struggle. But I see this more of a past relationship or past things that happened to you, Capricorn. What else is going on for the sign of Capricorn? Show me the messages we need to see. What else is going on for the sign of Capricorn? We got two cards here that fell out. Let's see what they are. We got the Princess of Wands. Really taking care of yourself, loving yourself, you know. You're, you're, you're taking care of your health, yourself. You're really putting boundaries. You're like, okay, do you see how she has her wands going across herself? It's almost like, okay, you want to be in my energy, you got to come in with the same energy. You want to be with me, you got to come in the same way, okay? I see you moving into calmer waters. I see you more balanced. I see you moving forward. Even though a situation did not work out the way you hoped it to, Capricorn. Let's see what else is going on here for the sign of Capricorn. What's going on with the sign? Oh, we got a jumper. Four pentacles. You're holding back. Yeah, you're holding back. Also, be careful with your finances. Make sure to bring stability there. You're holding back from a situation or a thing. Um... Even though you're moving into calmer waters, you definitely are, but you're holding back. So you're looking at things, you're, you're you know, building on yourself, you know, working on your own self, your own stability. Okay, what else is going on for the sign of Capricorn for the month of October? What else is going on for Capricorn for the month of October, please? Okay, let's get the rest of the cards for the sign of Capricorn for the month of October. Okay, we got two cards. We got the strength card. You're having strength. You know that you can get through anything and you're rebuilding yourself. That's the strength part. Rebuilding yourself. Having the strength to continue to move on. Then we have the seven of wands. Building boundaries. Keeping people out. If they're not in your energy, you're not taking them. You're coming in as a princess of one. She's, you see, the princess of one's not moving forward anywhere. She's just there like, okay, you want to meet me? You meet me at my level. If you can't meet me, then you stay out, okay? This is what your energy is, Capricorn, for the month of October. What else is going on with the sign of Capricorn? What else is going on for the sign of Capricorn? Please give me the cards I need to see. Give me the cards I need to see. Thank you. What else is going on with the sign of Capricorn? What else will be happening for Capricorn for the month of October? Okay. We got the Emperor here. Okay. So the Emperor is here. This is growing, bringing stability into your situation. Growing. Maybe growing yourself. Maybe you're deciding to take a leap of faith with someone who comes in as an Emperor who has more stability who is grounded, who is sure of the, his way forward or her way forward, or could be you are taking a new leap of faith in a new position at your job, or you're moving in to a new position, or you're moving or going on to a new company. 
but I do see you taking a leap of faith. It could be with a person, it could be with a company, or deciding to head in a different direction with a company here. Or you're really working on yourself, bringing your own stability to yourself, okay? You're working on your happiness, you're working on yourself, and you're living life. You're taking, uh, you know, you're taking risks and doing different things in different ways, okay, Capricorn? What else is going on for Capricorn? I see the Emperor here. What else is going on for Capricorn for the month of October? What else is going on for Capricorn for the month of October? Maybe there's a brand new offer too because Emperor's come in with offers. As you can see, he's holding something out on his hand. And you might decide to take a leap of faith with this. What's going on for Capricorn for the month of October? Any more cards for the sign of Capricorn for the month of October, please? Let's see. Let's shuffle one more time. And get at least two to three more cards. And see what else is happening for you, Capricorn. For the month of October. Definitely something ended. Definitely you're standing on your own ground. You're bringing peace and love to yourself and stability. You're moving forward in a different direction. And maybe choosing to take a leap of faith in a different way or with someone else there's definitely the emperor card is here you're building stability you're growing and you're knowing what you want and need because empress do you know that already what's going on with the sign of capricorn for the month of october we got too many cards i can't take them all at once let's go ahead and reshuffle and at least get two or three more cards to end this reading <laughs> What's going on for the sign of Capricorn for the month of October, please? Ten of Pentacles, working on your finances, on your home and your stability. Possibly working on growing your family. Possibly working on a relationship. Possibly really having all that you want coming into your life because you're taking a leap of faith. What else is going on with Capricorn for the month of October? Yeah, we got the King of Wands. We got fire energy here. So a lot of passion and energy coming in. We got the King of Wands and we got the Queen, the Princess of Wands. Okay, we got two people with like energies here. So you may be attracting someone that has your same like energy, who has stability, who wants to offer you some form of companionship or partnership. What else is going on for the sign of Capricorn for the month of October? Yeah, you could be passionately going forward with making your ha home happy, working on your finances, working on your stability, taking risks, going out like the fool, and knowing that you have what it takes to make things happen for you, Capricorn. What else is here for the sign of Capricorn for the month of October? What else is here? Okay, we got three cards. Those are your final cards. We've got lots of cups here. We got the seven of cups, lots of choices. Lots of things coming in. Universe bringing you more stuff in in order for you to make a choice. Don't get confused. Don't work on too many things. There's the nine of wands having boundaries. Also, make sure you have boundaries with anyone who's coming in. Right? And then we got the prince of cups. There is an offer of love of some kind coming forward. Um, you're going to be looking at that offer of love very carefully be, uh, to decide if this is the way you want to go. There was a hard struggle in the past, Capricorn. This is the way your reading starts out. There was a hard struggle. There was someone you left behind or something that did not work out. Um, you felt defeated by this. Maybe you felt there was no stability, so a tower moment had to open. You rebuilt on yourself. You have the strength to move forward. You're holding back your energies and looking at things carefully. You're building boundaries. I see you uh, moving to calmer waters. I see you taking a leap of faith. I see you working on home, family, and stability. I see a king of wands coming your way. There's going to be lots of cups, lots of choices, and new things coming into your life, Capricorn. Also, remember to have boundaries. Don't, you know, don't let anyone in unless you know them for sure, unless... They have your same energy and there is a love offer here, okay? So that's your reading for the month of October, Capricorn. Some love offer and if it's not, it's just you working on your stability. But there is a king of wands here, okay? So you could be dealing with a fire sign that will be coming into your life or maybe someone with that energy. Um, we get the king of wands and we get the emperor here. So you could be dealing with a company also. There's some... Maybe some boundaries and things going on in the company and taking a leap of faith with the company or getting a new 
uh, I don't know, promotion or maybe moving on to a new company where you're going to feel more stable and things are going to be coming your way. You're going to have a lot of choices, okay? Definitely you're building boundaries. Definitely you're having boundaries. Definitely you had a hard pass or something that needed to let go because it wasn't making you happy, okay? So that is your past energy here. Love and light. Have a wonderful month of October, Capricorn. I'm going to go ahead and get... Two cards, one for the solar eclipse on October 14th, and the second card is for the lunar eclipse on October 28th, I think it is. I'm not sure, possibly. Okay, so let's see what is the energy for October 14th, the lunar eclipse. For the sign of Capricorn, what is the energy and what's going to be happening for the sign of Capricorn? Don't get stuck in the past, Capricorn. Don't keep your mind stuck, okay? Keep on moving forward. What is for you is going to be for you and no one can take it. What you attract has to do a lot with your positive mind. So keep positive no matter what happens, right? No matter the struggles because I see there was some past struggle, but you're moving forward from it. A situation that was not set on stable ground or the person had no stability whoever you were dealing with so the situation was not stable or it could be there was just no stable there there was no stability there to begin with okay capricorn but let's see what is your card for the solar eclipse in the beginning of the month let's see what's the energy for capricorn for the solar eclipse What's going on for the solar eclipse for Capricorn? Oh, we got one card, five of chalices. Try to focus on the positive again, Capricorn, okay? So the solar eclipse is you really focusing on things that happened in the past. Let go of the past, move on forward. Focus on the two cups, okay? Focus on the positive, focus on the things that you can build with, okay? And let go of anything that you can't, you know? Whatever you can, you know, there's things you cannot control. The only thing you can control is yourself and what you're focused on, okay? Live in the moment and focus on the positive of what's happening now. That is for your solar eclipse. Let's see what's going on for you, Capricorn, for the lunar eclipse at the end of the month, which is going to be in the sign of Taurus. What's happening for the sign of Capricorn? on the lunar eclipse let's do that one card for the reading for the lunar eclipse what's going to happen for the sign of capricorn for the lunar eclipse let's see what we got all right we got one card it is the sage of orbs which is the page of swords you're going to know which way you're going to move forward you're going to cut things out in your life that is no longer um that's not helping you grow. That is no longer, you know, something you need. Uh, maybe you're going to be cutting away situations, persons, or things. Maybe cutting out certain um, situations within yourself that it's not letting you move forward. So this is your message for the lunar eclipse and for the solar eclipse. Try not to focus on the negative. Keep on moving forward and focus on the positive because there is positive there. Okay, Capricorn, that's your reading for October 2023. Have a wonderful month. Bye-bye.